Hello everyone, today we are going to be talking about an SBOM tool called retire.js. This is an open source SBOM security scanner for JavaScript applications. It is usable in Grunt plugins, Gulp tasks, and is also used as Firefox and Chrome extensions. This is what I'm going to be covering today because it's the easiest to use and the most common use case. The prerequisites for this are Firefox or Chrome, and I'm going to walk you through how to install it. So. Just to start, if you look up retire.js Firefox extension, and then just click on the first Mozilla add-ons link, you can see that it's here. We can add it to Firefox. And now, as you can see here, it is installed and enabled. Let's move on to actually using it. This is used, it just scans the entire website and goes through its database of known vulnerabilities and then alerts you of any that it sees. So if we go to PDF API HTML5 for web apps, which was one of the examples that they used in the add-on page for retire.js, if we load this up, you can already see in the top right, there is a one. It looks like a warning, that's because it is. If we click on that, it gives us a bunch of information on what vulnerability it found. The JavaScript library in question is jQuery. It's in version 2.2.4. The latest version is 3.6. So there is quite a big difference between version numbers and that would cause some vulnerabilities. In this third panel, it says where it found the information, the severity of it. In this case, it's all medium severity and then what the vulnerability is. And then over here, where all these links are, and references, are links to people reporting this issue. So, the dangerous jQuery behavior for third-party text JavaScript responses, um, this just goes through it. The next vulnerability it found is this website that shows the jQuery issues and bugs all of that. It also has two other references that you could look at. So that's mostly what retire.js does. You can also click show unknown. These are a bunch of links, I presume to different ads because there are a lot of pop-ups on this website. Um, but it didn't recognize a bunch of different websites, but it only came up with one known vulnerability, which is this outdated jQuery. Overall, the program is meant to scan websites. It can also be used for in Gulp plugins. The scan just checks for JavaScript libraries, tells you what the vulnerabilities are, the severity in them, and then gives you some references to check out what the vulnerability is. In most cases, it will probably be an outdated library. The biggest use case is going to be developers developing a website and just making sure that there aren't any known vulnerabilities in the website that they're creating. Um, but it can also be used just for normal web browsing. If you go to a sketchy site like this one, you can immediately see that there is at least one vulnerability that is known and you could be getting attacked currently. So it'd be best if you got off the website as soon as you could. So those are the two main use cases. And overall, again, it's very easy to install and use immediately. It doesn't require any advanced knowledge in JavaScript plugins or anything like that. And it does give you quite a bit of useful information for websites that you're developing or just visiting. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Thank you for checking out this video. If you really liked it, be sure to check out our other videos right here. And then you can also subscribe right up top here. And again, thank you. Bye bye.